Hey there, how are you doing? We welcome you all to the fourth and the last video in our Android N versus Windows 10 Mobile Redstone comparison. In the last three videos, we compared the lock screen, home screen UI, we compared the navigation, the UI navigation, and how every aspect of the user interface compares to each other. We also talked about performance and browsing, where we saw how the general performance is, how the browsing looks like as compared to each other, and how the multitasking works. So in this last video, we will talk about uh, aspects like customization or personalization. We will see how the two like personal assistants or voice assistants work on both and compare to each other. We will also compare other aspects like uh, we will check the store and compare it to each other. So starting with the first part, which is customization. So when <clears throat> we talk about Android, Android, we uh, I mean, it's a general saying that Android is all about customization and obviously it has uh, it has it has edge over other OSs when it comes to um, the customizing or changing the whole look and appearance of the UI or user interface. So while this is a stock Android in launcher, usually vendors will have their own launchers. But apart from the vendors having their own launcher, you can go to a store and just download and install launcher which can totally change the UI. So in our last three videos, you must have been, uh, we must have seen the UI and uh, as you can see, you may be like, you will feel a familiarity with it, but you can just be surprised at how the UI changes. So it's a Nokia Z launcher. It's the launcher from Nokia, which is also the uh, UI for the Nokia N1. And hopefully like uh, it may be for upcoming smartphones of Nokia, the same uh, UI you will see. So you can see the whole uh, appearance of it changes. The Jet Launcher is famous for its own uh, prediction kind of like so it predicts the apps or games that you use at a particular point in time in a, I mean throughout the day. So or and also you can just uh, like scroll here to search for an app. So now you, you can actually use such kind of UI. Or you can just go back return to the normal UI that you use this is a arrow launcher from Microsoft you can see how the UI changes drastically with it this is Zen UI launcher so this is also a UI I mean I just wanted to bring the point home that how the total thing or the how the whole UI appearance changes by just adopting or changing the launchers so this is one point where Android is very, very strong. I mean, I mean the major OSs like iOS or Windows 10 Mobile, which have a, uh, you know, default launcher, a stock launcher, which cannot be changed. So they, they cannot really compare to Android in this respect. But when it comes to other kind of a customization, so if, if we have to just use this uh, custom launcher, then there are a few things where uh, Windows 10 Mobile really has, uh, I mean, really has something which uh, Android don't have or Android would like to have. So when we talk about something called a dark theme, so Google just brought uh, system-wide dark theme on Android N in the developer preview 2 and then it removed surprisingly in developer preview 3. But if you talk about Windows 10 Mobile, it has got a dark theme which is So it's a system wide dark theme. So till now we what we uh, saw the CUI in was like a dark theme. You can use a light theme which makes it totally light. The whole appearance of the uh, UI across changes. So this is something which I mean Android, uh, lots of Android users want to have on the system, a system wide uh, dark dark kind of theme, which is still uh, I mean missing. Eh? So you can see kind of bit of inconsistency. So you go to Action Center on Android and you see this uh, blackish or grayish kind of uh, you know background, 
just go to settings and you will have it in white so it's a bit of thing like a small thing or like i mean it it kind of emphasizes the inconsistency across the ui here windows 10 mobile beats it in this apart from this there is one more thing which uh, is good or which is quite uh, you know unique to windows 10 mobile in terms of customization <coughs> do you see these live tiles you can actually control the transparency of them so just by uh, using this slider i can control whether the tile tiles are like uh, will become transparent or they, they become like uh, opaque the opacity of the tiles that varies so you can just make them quite transparent again so this is how uh, i mean these are the two unique things or unique aspects of windows 10 mobile that would not see on uh, android but again uh, in case of android if you want to change uh, i mean not only the launcher if you want to change the icon packs there are lots to choose from so you can all change all the like, how the icons look and you can also get lots of different kind of icons big small transparent etc so it's quite not uh, i mean i mean if you talk about the native or stock launcher then obviously you see these kind of differences but Android can actually match it. And you can it can still not match the dark theme, but it can match in terms of how you can change the icons. You can totally change the UI, so it's a quite different time. Now coming to <clears throat> how you can change the uh, stuff like wallpapers. So here, in case of uh, Windows 10 Mobile, you have dedicated uh, like settings to change the lock screen and. You can also specify if, <coughs> sorry, some apps can change your <coughs> lock screen. So here, this is a Bing, which which can change your lock screen daily. Similarly, you can change the start. The start screen can be changed. Obviously, there are different third-party apps as well. So you can change the start screen from here. You can also go to uh, the gallery and from the gallery itself set as lock screen or set as background so one image can be set to lock screen and the same image can be set to background when we come to android n Things actually bit play a bit differently. So this is a wallpaper here. <clears throat> you can choose wallpapers and you can set them. So this is the wallpaper that has been set. But if you go to lock screen, it would be same. I mean, similar to the wallpaper that was uh, there earlier as well. So <clears throat> only in the case of the stock Google Now launcher, you would you would be able to set any of the wallpaper to both. But <clears throat> with other options, you would not be able to do it. What is again? Mm -hmm. uh, quite you know useful or what uh, you need to android is uh, like the, these live wallpapers so these live wallpapers can be set so here uh, we don't have any live wallpapers these are something which actually consume lots of battery and resources so they are not uh, kind of uh, recommended but you can do that and this is unique to android again so we just saw the strengths and weaknesses of uh, windows 10 mobile and Android. So uh, while <coughs> uh, the like Windows 10 Mobile has a system-wide dark theme, Android has a, I and mean, you can just change the whole look appearance. So this is something which is unbeatable. But there are like bit of features like the tile transparency, and then uh, the dark theme, which which gives, uh, I mean, advantage in terms of like Windows 10 Mobile in those cases. While in other cases, Android can really match to anything. It offers the kind of customization which is unparalleled on other OSs. Now, <clears throat> coming to the, uh, I mean, 
the assistant voice assistants here you can see that windows 10 mobile has a voice assistant which has a personality which is called cortana and uh, you can speak to cortana you can talk to her hey there hi cortana How are you today? So there you see that uh, Cortana can actually speak to you, respond to your questions. In terms of uh, Android N, okay, Google, Nokia Power User. So as you can see, this uh, <clears throat> Google Now Voice Assistant is really very, very uh, fast. It works really very, very fast, actually. It, it, it is even better than Cortana. If you talk about in recognizing the voice and responding, it can really recognize it fast and uh, give you the results. Now, the thing is, uh, the only difference that you can see or like uh, where you can like Cortana more is that it has a certain kind of personality. It can tell you jokes if you ask. Tell me a joke. How do you catch a critter? Climb a tree and attack the banana. On Google now, tell me a joke. So, I mean, as we can see the clear difference here, there is like, uh, this works like a very, very fast search engine or such kind of assistant which gives you very good results so you get the results here which are like but not like Cortana which uh, kinds of give you some kind of which has got some kind of personality though if you have an Android uh, device which is supported which is support I mean in the supported region like US you can download and install Cortana and you can get the uh, I mean you can get uh, to use it the same Cortana system that we see on Windows 10 mobile now so the point is Android being the largest OS and being uh, with great support from developers even from like it has very good support from Microsoft it is really something which I mean if you're using Android you would not miss many things like even the Cortana is there but if you talk about the native you know voice assistant then obviously you will you may uh, like the Cortana more because it's a voice assistant with a personality you can actually kind of uh, connect to it now coming to our uh, last comparison for this video let's quickly check how the stores look like on those i mean in these two devices so here is like uh, the two store devices compared to each other So here is a like comparison between how they look like so the four bars here and here it is like uh, four different you can uh, go to the downloads and updates and check what has been updated in case of google uh, ui or the app i mean store ui you can go to my apps and games and see what all has been updated or what is the update available for this you can also auto update apps in case of uh, google store play store you can similarly do the same thing similar things in case of windows store as well the uis are uh, like they look too different if we talk about the aesthetics but then there are lots of similarity as well which is surprising you see similar kind of hamburger menu you can see the similar kind of the featured thing and
Coming to a very uh, important term used to you know differentiate between two OSs, the app gap. <clears throat> if you talk about uh, the general apps or very important apps, so let's go to the top apps and games. So there's like quick, uh, you can see quick similarities. So WhatsApp Messenger is on top here, but in case of, uh, uh, I mean, we see other apps like UC Browser, TrueColor, which is, which are like the top top apps other than WhatsApp Messenger. UC Browser is also here present. Hike Messenger, TrueColor, TrueColor is uh, having the eighth rank here. In case of, it has like a third rank. So. If you compare, you will see that uh, it's really not a kind of such situation where you don't have any apps on Windows 10 uh, mobile. Actually, they're like uh, usually the apps that we use. Uh, so, in a in a latest survey, we we came to know and understand that people at most use 10 apps. So these apps are like uh, available. The difference lies in the way they are updated or in the way they have been created. So while uh, the developers they they really uh, focus on android so they focus on android and they keep bringing new updates new features they keep bringing new fixes which gives android that kind of edge where people uh, can say that okay this ui the windows 10 mobile apps ui they are really not uh, very much uh, you know uh, kind of updated or it's not new not having all the features so there is where the app gap exists basically if you talk about yes there are apps like snapchat which are still not on the windows 10 mobile but if you talk about apps like whatsapp messenger so whatsapp messenger is one app which is regularly updated what by whatsapp like similarly for uc browser ht true caller these apps are regularly updated and they are available so <clears throat> barring one or two apps which can be said to be not still present on windows 10 mobile you will see that most of the apps you see in the top apps etc they would be there but if you compare the features sometimes in case of many apps they may be lacking in the feature a bit or the updates that you see very much regularly on android but again we have to tell you that many of the apps which see you here in the top they are very much regularly updated apps like twitter twitter has got a uh, very new app which is a universal app and it has got quite quite uh, you know good unique kind of ui which is different from android but it's regularly updated so there we are we saw the comparison between uh, customization the personalization we compared the voice assistant we compared how the store ui looks like and compares and we also talked a bit about app gap which is a very controversial thing i mean controversial topic to discuss but then with that we come to end of this video i hope you have liked the comparison all the comparisons between the windows 10 mobile and android in that we did and stay tuned for more. Keep watching.